Hey guys, welcome back to the third installment of the Sitka Deer mission series. In this episode, I will be completing missions number six and seven. So, without further delay, let's head out to the mission page and see what mission number six has in store for us. Okay, we're back at the mission page. And uh, we're on mission number six, which is titled Full Moon. And the description reads, Okay, so you can handle yourself under pressure. Let's hope that wasn't just a one-time show of courage, because things aren't at all what I expected. Last night, I was back at my bait site, doing some knocking and hollering from my tree stand. The air was crisp, and the snow was gleaming from the full moon. Out of nowhere, I saw a glowing set of eyes coming from the edge of the tree line. I reached for my rifle, but before I could line up a shot, it was gone. You were going to have to head out there and investigate using all the skills you've learned so far. So in this mission, there's four objectives. Objective number one is identify the call of a Sitka deer. Number two, spot a Sitka deer in the same hunt. Number three, identify droppings of a Sitka deer in the same hunt. And number four, harvest a Sitka deer buck with a score of at least 60 in the same hunt. And that will reward you with 800 GMs. So let's go ahead and activate that mission. Alright, let's get back out to White Rhyme Ridge. All right, we are back at White Rhyme Ridge and uh, we're at the Afterland Lodge to start this mission. Uh, so let's take a quick peek at uh, what I'm going to be bringing along with me. So I've got the uh, Blazer R8 6.5 by 55. Uh, I'm taking the Parker Python compound bow and the uh, 454 for a little uh, self-defense. <laughs> All right, well, let's head down into this valley and uh, let's see if we can complete this mission. All right, so we uh, just went a few steps away from the lodge and we've already come across our first deer. He just gave me an audio clue from his call, so that should complete objective uh, number one. All right, I'm just going to zoom in here. We'll try and get the objective uh, where you have to spot the Sitka deer in the same hunt completed. Okay. And uh, the other one is that we have to identify a set of droppings. So... Uh, what we're going to do is just ease on up here and uh, see if we can get in there and um, he might have left some droppings from his previous trail. So uh, we also need to harvest this buck uh, to count for the mission. So I'm going to try calling him in here. All right, well, the uh, audio clue objective doesn't seem to be popping on this deer right now, so that's okay. We'll try and get it from a different one. So uh, he has to have a score over 60, and uh, fairly certain that this one will. So, what I'm going to do is uh, just take out the 6.5 by 55 and put him down. And there we go. Right in the center of his chest, and he's down. So, 
So we'll just uh, head on over here and claim him with the hunter mate. Okay. Actually, uh, first, why don't we uh, go back and we'll see if we can find uh, some droppings from him. Huh. And just as our luck would have it, there's some right there. So that should take care of that objective for us. Okay, there we go. Mission objective. Identify droppings of a Sitka deer in the same hunt. Completed. Okay, and yeah, so we uh, got a score of 75 with a shot right to the heart. Okay. Has me in a position 32 for current top Sitka deer competition. And that also completes... The objective to harvest a Sitka deer with a score of at least 60. So we'll just get a quick trophy shot here. All right. Well, we still need to identify that audio clue because the other two didn't seem to work. Uh, so we'll carry along here and try and find another one. Okay, guys, well, we just got another call from a Sitka deer buck. Uh, hopefully that should complete the objective and uh, finally complete this mission here. Just give that a second, and we'll try and uh, get that to pop. Yes, there we go. Mission full moon completed. Okay guys, we're going to head back to the mission page and see what mission number 7 has in store for us. Alright, we're back at the mission page. And uh, we're on mission number 7 now. And mission number 7 is titled, Sneaky Suspicions. And the description reads, Well done. However... As each night passes, my suspicions lead me to believe that we are dealing with something far more dangerous and evil than just your average Sasquatch. Could it be? No, it couldn't. We are going to have to be on our lookout at all times. Let's warm up that sidearm. This is about to get interesting. Alright, this one has four objectives. And uh, what we need to do is harvest a Sitka deer using a three fifty seven from a distance between 10 to 15 meters, 20 to 25 meters, 30 to 35 meters, and 40 to 45 meters. Uh, so uh, we'll go ahead and activate this mission. Once it's completed, we should be rewarded with 1,000 GMs. All right, well, let's head back out there and see what we can do. All right, we are back here at White Rhyme Ridge at the Afterland Lodge. And uh, for this mission, uh, you need to bring along a 357. And I think I forgot to mention that uh, you can't use a scope on it, so it has to be an iron sight shot. Uh, you also uh, need to get a rangefinder. Um, today I have the uh, rangefinder binoculars with me, but also the standard rangefinder uh, will work as well. Um, and uh, I have the black 357 revolver. Uh, but any 357 revolver will do. Uh, so let's get out there, uh, head down into this valley, try and come across a couple of deer, and complete this mission. Okay, guys, just got a call from a buck, and he's uh, 
just down in the valley over there uh, where I placed my marker. So we are going to try and move into position and try and get the uh, first objective completed uh, for this mission. So as I head down there, uh, I'll get you guys back in the action as soon as I'm all set up. Okay guys, uh, this buck is pretty close here. He just uh, gave us a call. Uh, he's just on the edge of this grass and uh, I'm going to call him in. And uh, we'll try and get him within range here. We need to get him to 10 to 15 meters. Uh, I've also applied some scent eliminator because uh, when they get that close, it's very easy for them to smell you. So it's very important uh, that you also bring some scent eliminator along with you, especially for the uh, first one, which is a very close range shot. Just let out another grunt there and we'll wait for him to come in. Okay guys, I can hear his footsteps coming in. So he must be very close. Still don't have eyes on him yet. Let's take a quick look around, make sure we're not uh, going to get sideswiped by a uh, a doe or something that might be sneaking up behind us. Okay, here he is. He's currently at 25 meters. Nope, 17 meters, not quite. Need him to come a little bit closer. All right, that should do it. Let's get off a 357 and put him down. Haha. <laughs> Think had a little punch to it, eh? All right. Well, that should do it for the first objective. score of 71 and the distance was 12.1 meters okay just leveled up my 357 revolver skill that's excellent get a quick trophy shot here and mission sneaky suspicions objective uh, harps a deer from 10 to 15 meters completed There we are. Okay, well, one down, three to go. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're back, uh, but I've started a new hunt on a different day. And uh, I'm over here by the uh, two small lake area. And my plan is to work my way around here, try and find another one or two, and head my way back towards Afterland Lodge. Uh, so, um, I do see a doe actually, that's just off in the distance. Take a quick look. But I think we're gonna hold off for a buck for this mission, so I'm gonna go on a little bit of a hike here and see what I can find. Alright guys, well I just downed a uh, doe, and uh, just right in front of where she went down, uh, there is a small buck just off in the distance there, so I'm going to try and call him in here, and we'll try and get a shot on him. Looks like there's another buck somewhere over there. I'm going to place a marker where I heard that uh, buck call. But we're first going to try and get this one here. OK. 
Okay, if the plan works, he should turn and head over to where I laid down that scent spray. There we go. Well, he's at 24 meters right now. So if I take a shot right here, we should get the objective. Well, that should do the trick. Just watch where he goes here. <laughs> Thinks he's a mountain goat. Well, all right, he should go down here shortly. So uh, we'll get down off this rock, track him down, and hopefully my sneaky suspicion of his distance was right. And uh, we'll be able to get the second objective completed. All right, well, we're just coming up on the buck. He finally went down. Uh, it was kind of a rushed shot. I wanted to make sure that I got him within the correct distance there, so uh, that things, those things happen. Let's go over here and have a look. So yeah, he's not a monster, but 23 meters, so that should uh, do it for that objective. And we'll just get a quick trophy shot here. Oh, he has a nice little drop tine on him. Never saw that guy. I wonder if Expansive Worlds snuck in some non-typicals on us here. <laughs> you never know. But yeah, so as you could see, that objective there completed. So we're going to wander on down here. Uh, as we did here, another buck call. So we're going to try and track him down. The uh, next objective is to uh, get it one within 30 to 35 meters, so stay tuned. Alright guys, just came across a uh, Sitka deer buck. He's just behind these uh, pine trees right here. Uh, should be stepping out here shortly. Uh, it's a different buck than the one that we heard earlier. So uh, we're going to try and take this one down at uh, 30 to 35 meters to complete objective number three. There he is right here. Currently he is at uh, about 60 meters. So uh, he's got to come uh, another 30 meters, uh, 25 to 30 meters to uh, get the correct distance that we need him. Uh, so I'm just going to try and get into position here. Okay, well, I'm going to move back a little bit. We might be able to just do this right here. Okay, he's at 32. We're going to have to be quick. There we go. All right, uh, we'll give him a couple minutes uh, to go down and then we'll start tracking him. All right, well, here is that buck. He just went down, just up ahead. He went for a little bit of a run, but the 357 did the job. So uh, let's have a look at him here. And we had a distance of 33 meters and a score of 54. So, there we are. That uh, will complete objective number three for the Sneaky Suspicions mission. 
We'll line up another quick trophy shot here. This guy's also got another drop time, just like the last one. All right, perfect. Well, let's uh, go on up ahead. Uh, I'm pretty sure that other buck that we uh, heard earlier ran somewhere over here, so we'll try and track him down. All right, well, we have eyes on another buck here. He's out there at about 108 meters. Uh, he has a bison in behind him. Uh, we're going to try and close the distance on this guy and uh, hopefully get a shot. That would be between uh, 40 and 45 meters. Just had to lay down and prone here real quick. He seems to be uh, alerted to my presence, so we're going to have to be careful. So we'll ease on up here and hopefully get to uh, within the correct range without him noticing us <laughs> or without getting run over by that bison that's behind there alright guys I'm gonna keep sneaking on up here so uh, don't go anywhere alright guys well here he is he's at uh, 48 meters Probably 47, 46, 45. Okay, he's stopped. Hopefully he'll give me enough time to get a range on him. He's at 43 meters. Get out the uh, 357 here real quick. All right, excellent. Dropped him in his tracks this time. I <laughs> kind of had my heart pumping there. Doesn't give you a whole lot of uh, leeway when it comes to making sure that you're judging the right distance, so always good to make sure you have that rangefinder. Alright, here he is. And we got 43 meters with a shot right to the heart and a score of roughly 75. Want to get a nice little trophy shot here. There we go. Mission Sneaky Suspicions has been completed. Well, hopefully, uh... There we go. All right, perfect trophy shot. Okay guys, so that's gonna wrap up this uh, installment of the Sitka Deer mission series. Uh, stay tuned in the near future for the next installment where I'll be uh, completing missions number eight and nine. And yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it. If so, make sure to give me a like and don't forget to subscribe. Keep it squatchy, everyone.